Welcome to another edition of Black and Blue. And I am Pastor Aaron Sheehan. And I'm Deaconess Micah Patron. Yes. And uh, and today our topic is uh, say... What? Say what? <laughs> We're going to call it listening, but that's boring. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> boring. It is. Uh, say what? <laughs> so yeah, the, the topic today is listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Because that's a really important thing that we get to do as... Pastor and deaconess, but also it's it's just a beautiful gift. It's a way that we actually get to love uh, the people around us. It's a really unique way, and it's but it's so simple. <laughs> it's yeah. so it's it's not very glitzy and glamoury. So we often just kind of forget it, don't pay attention yeah. to it. Um, and a lot of what we do is listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is. Yep. Eat, also eat. to each other, too. Eat. Eat, even though some people think, oh, Pastor A, Ron, all he does is talk. I'm actually, I'm actually a pretty good listener, I think. He is. He is. <laughs> you are. Yeah. And I mean, if you don't believe us, you know, think about what gets you really frustrated and angry, especially with your siblings, parents, um, mm-hmm. family members, friends, teachers. It's when they don't listen to you. You say something and they just write you off. You say something and they just do the complete opposite of what you, what you asked them to do. I mean, you're just like, what am I? Uh, Chop the liver. Exactly. <laughs> they do don't see matter? me. They're not hearing me. Mm-hmm. It's exactly. like I'm invisible. I'm exactly. the invisible man, the mm-hmm. invisible woman. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. It does not feel good. No, it's kind of yeah. a punch in the gut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so that's where listening is a beautiful gift where we get to say, hey, I see you. You're not invisible to me. You're actually very visible. Uh, you know, I yes. see you. I, I, I'm here, yes. <laughs> now we'll have you eat some fish. Now. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, but it, it was yeah. a test that yes, Jesus, it was a test. Uh, Are, you a Are you human? Are you human? Here's oh. a here's a you know BK uh, big fish. Uh, here you go. Um, but anyway, and like um, if we look at our Lord Jesus all through the Gospels, we see him listening, and especially the the example that comes to mind is is twelve year old Jesus in the temple. Mm-hmm. We find out that. He's, uh, when Mary and Joseph find him in the temple after three days, they find him sitting among um, the teachers and he's listening and asking them questions. And, and then he's, you know, giving answers and everyone's amazed by, by his answers and his understanding. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, the one who has more wisdom in his pinky finger than all the wisdom in the world mm-hmm. is listening to, to those religious uh, bigwigs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As they're stumbling, maybe stuttering, maybe not saying everything perfectly, but he's listening to them. I mean, that's, it's so beautiful how he's going, uh, you are important. I created you. The one who created all the world is, and the word itself uh, he's listening. And I mean, all through Jesus' ministry, he's doing that. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, you think of just the people that are drawn to him, the, the mm-hmm. people that you would never expect, uh, the sinners and tax collectors, uh, you know, you know, sinner, uh, not a category like how we think of it. Like I, a poor, mis- poor, miserable sinner. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it, it, the, the category was way different in, uh, in the time of Jesus. Mm-hmm. I mean, sinner, that was the, deplorables, the damnables, mm-hmm. those who committed some sin within Judaism, and they were not coming back from it. Mm-hmm. it they're, they're goners. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. No hope for mm-hmm. you. No repentance mm-hmm. and forgiveness of sins. Yep. You are going to H-E double hockey six hell. Mm-hmm. You are on the highway to hell, as ACDC sings. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, these are the people, though, they look at Jesus and they see hope. Mm-hmm. Like, in, in, you know, in, if you had to, like, put Jesus in some box within mm-hmm. uh, the day, he would have been more in line with the the Jews, mm-hmm. uh, the, uh, sorry, the Pharisees. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the very people that were rejecting the sinners and tax collectors, mm-hmm. here, here, is, here is one who is not rejecting them, but mm-hmm. they, they can go to him and they know they're not going to be rejected. Yeah. That, that's really kind of amazing to think mm-hmm. about, that mm-hmm. these people who, who are rejected by um, the religious institutions of the day, uh, see Jesus, they see something different in Jesus. They see uh, a welcoming, hospitable mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. God. 
someone who sees them yeah and it, won't just you know shove them away and he's eating and drinking with them yeah. uh, you know i'm pretty sure jesus was listening to them at the at, at the din din table mm-hmm. i don't think yeah. that he was just uh you know just a a, a one-way communicator mm-hmm. you know that mm-hmm. there, there's a two-way thing going on there where you know there's give and take right. jesus speaking they listen they speak jesus listen mm-hmm. that back and forthness mm-hmm. at the dinner table which is how a lot of i mean really I, breaking bread at table i mean there's a lot of talky mm-hmm. talky yeah listening no. listening <laughs> listening 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 listening. sharing life exactly I, yeah. you know it's like you, it's yeah. like you said you're, you're pushing pause on everything that needs to be done all the chores all the things on the to-do list and mm-hmm. you're saying i want to be here with you i want to listen to you i want to share life with you i want to get mm-hmm. to know you um mm-hmm. there's this a uh, beautiful quote from a uh, lutheran philosopher georg uh, Hamann from the 18th century uh, he says, uh, speak so that I can see you. I mean, that's really awesome that, you know, yes. by, by speaking, we are opening up our hearts, uh, to people so they can actually see us. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I mean, what you see here, this, this is not, I mean, all of Aaron. I mean, mm-hmm. there's a lot more to Aaron than just what you, what, what meets the eye, mm-hmm. but, uh, through our words, we actually mm-hmm. open our ourselves to mm-hmm. people and they get to, they get to know us. Right. And we get to know them. Right, exactly. Because it's through listening that we actually get to to receive those words and have them, you know, hit our hearts and help us better understand um, I, each other. I mean, we have I a mean, God who speaks, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let there be light, and, and there was light. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He. It, so why does God speak, Deaconess? Mm-hmm. Why do we have the speaking God? So that we can see Him, mm-hmm. not with our eyes, but with our ears. I can't get the words out yeah, yeah. with our ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like what, what I mean, Luther. You know, take your eyeballs and stick them in your ear holes, right? Ooh, what an uh, image! Yeah, what an image! That's how we actually see, yeah. see Jesus. How yep. we see God uh, through the Word, the Word. Exactly, and so I mean, it's like that's the big picture with our, with our Lord, but then it, we get to have it on an individual level uh, with each other because I don't know the hard things going on in your life or in any of our parishioners lives yeah. unless you know there's this back and forth and i get to listen and so that really allows us to uh uh rejoice with those who are rejoicing and and grieve with those who are grieving when we get to hear what's going on we get to see what's going on through their words yeah we get to enter their grief you know mm-hmm. when they share their grief we get to mm-hmm. enter their joy when they share their joy mm-hmm. if, if if they don't share that then you know, there's no entering mm-hmm. into that, mm-hmm. you know? So, I mean, yeah, it is through words that we get to, to share life. Share life. And also, I mean, there's just that beautiful opportunity to see how that person ticks. What makes oh. them silly or uh, what what's so creative about them? What's so unique about that person? Because, I mean, each of us have been, have been uniquely made by our Lord. And so listening is a beautiful way of confessing, hey, our Lord made you yeah. very specific and beautiful and you are beloved by him so we get yeah. to really um with our our listening kind of confess hey uh our lord values you our lord cherishes you and i do too yeah, yeah. and and you know people aren't boring you know mm-hmm. so i mean it's <laughs> you know god did not make boring people no he did not and so by listening we get to actually experience you know all the all the complexities mm-hmm. and all the beauty mm-hmm. uh, that uh, that that you know is is bound up in this person. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and and I find it's very freeing for me and for you too, Pastor. With knowing when we listen to people and and get to receive from them, we don't have to agree with everything they're saying, um, but we can still listen mm-hmm. and still re- receive from them what's what's unique and and good and. Yeah. Um, and with our listening, confess, Hey, our Lord created you. Um, Jesus died for you. So, uh, you are precious. And so it's, it's really neat, but listening isn't easy, pastor. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> well, I mean, uh, uh, what are the fruit of the spirit? Uh, patience, uh-huh. patience. Yes. Yeah. Listening mm-hmm. takes patience. Yeah. It does take patience. And, but thankfully also, and I mean, you kind of were, alluding to it earlier, I mean, how does our Lord uh, work on us to grow us with with listening, with that patience as well? Uh, what do you mean? 
soul. I mean, do do we come into this world just able to listen to God beautifully and to one another, or does He have to start working on us? Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah. you, you like uh, yeah. So uh, uh, we should fear, love, and trust in God. So we should fear and love God so that uh, we gladly uh, hear and learn His word. Mm-hmm. Yep. And also, I mean, where where does that process all start? I mean, in church, church. Yeah. yeah, like in baptism, mm-hmm. uh, you know, in, in a lot of ways, uh, every baptism is kind of like, you know, what Jesus did to the deaf uh, mute guy. Oh, uh, yeah. He gives the guy like a wet willy, you know, uh, plunges his fingers in, in the deaf man's ears and then mm-hmm. he spits on his hand and touches the man's tongue, mm-hmm. uh, you know, so that this man can actually hear the word go in and that word then can come out of his mm-hmm. his mouth. Yeah. Um, that's what our Lord does with us in baptism. We're like the mm-hmm. deaf mute man mm-hmm. that he heal that, 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 that he heals. Yes. You know, he plunges his fingers into our ears. He touches our tongues mm-hmm. so that we can uh, hear his word and and proclaim that word, proclaim mm-hmm. the excellencies of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. Exactly. Yeah. And that process keeps going. He keeps working on us, opening our ears every every time we go to getting the, that wax out. Yeah, getting that wax out. The Holy Spirit works on getting that wax out so we can hear God and and hear one another um, in the preached word, in in your daily, in your personal devotions. Um, all of those are ways that our Lord is opening your ears and our ears um, to hear him and, and to hear one another. Because uh, it's not something we can just do on our own. <laughs> Roll up our sleeves and go. I'm gonna listen better today. <laughs> really, it does. It does kind of begin. Like, I mean, even Boy Jesus is showing that. Yeah. You know, in the temple. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, we go to the house of the Lord. Yeah. And uh, through His Word, through His uh, meal, mm-hmm. uh, we get to to hear uh, our Lord, and then we get to respond with our prayers, mm-hmm. uh, our thanksgiving, mm-hmm. uh, our mm-hmm. uh, you know singing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, starting uh, with the ears coming out. Yeah. Of the mouth. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And so, yeah. and so then by listening to him, you know, we, we are, we, we learned that, okay, we're precious to him. And, and we start having our eyes open to all the people around us that are precious to him. Mm-hmm. And so they become precious to us. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we know how precious they are because uh, they were blood bought, mm-hmm. you know, believer, unbeliever, mm-hmm. you know, Republican, Democrat, mm-hmm. white, black, mm-hmm. American, uh, Chinese. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, all uh, the different you know, categories. Michigan fan, uh, Michigan State fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of inside, uh, you know, baseball for Michiganders. Uh-huh. You know, you're, you're in one camp or the other, generally uh-huh. speaking. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I had to learn that coming here, yeah. <laughs> coming to the men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we have this beautiful opportunity with listening, getting to imitate our Lord and, and being a reminder that our Lord listens to us. I mean, he always hears our prayers. He's promised to always hear our prayers and to not turn a deaf ear to us. So, um, because of that, we get to listen to those around us and love. So, uh, you get to love people in a very special way in a world where there's a lot of I'm going to talk over you in monologue. (laughs) That's something really cool that we as, as, as Christians can offer the people around us loving by listening. Absolutely. And actually we, uh, as, as pastor and deaconess, you know, by Mm -hmm. listening to people, especially in their hurt, Mm -hmm. we're a reminder to them, a tangible concrete Mm -hmm. reminder that Jesus is actually hearing uh, their pain and their suffering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, he, he, he hears them. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and you get to do that too. Yeah. When you're listening to people, uh, mm-hmm. you get to be a reminder that Jesus hasn't left them. Mm-hmm. You get to be a reminder that Jesus hears them. Mm-hmm. And he'll never leave them nor forsake them. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. listening is such a, a gift we can offer to people. Not 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 something that uh, we think of, like you said at the mm-hmm. at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Say what? <laughs> huh? What? Say what? <laughs> Oh, well, so good to talk with you guys and to listen. So, (laughs) well, they're going to listen to us. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) We get to listen to each other. (laughs) Well, much love and peace to you all. Uh, You know, we'll see you next time. By his uh, wounds. We are healed. Yep. Until next time. See you later. Bye.